now that we know the five components of health-related fitness that will help us to stay active and healthy for a lifetime, we need to know how to use them when we are exercising. This brings us to the FIT principle. FIT stands for frequency, intensity, time, and type. Let's talk about how to relate each one to the five components of health-related fitness. Next up is time, which is defined by how long or how many times you do something during an activity. This one's a little bit tricky because it can be like time on a clock or by how many repetitions you complete. I'll give you an example. 20 minutes of running is an example of time and 12 push-ups is also an example of time. Motor skills, locomotor, distance, skip. There are four critical elements, the head, the upper body, the lower body, and the rhythm. The head. The head is stable. The eyes are looking forward. There is no side to side movement. The upper body. The body is leaning forward slightly. The elbow joints are at about a 90 degree angle. The arms move upward and forward. The hands swing from the waist to the head height, the lower body. 
one knee drives upward and forward. Forward motion occurs by pushing off the back leg. The weight lands on the ball of the foot. Rhythm. Transition occurs with consistent speed and distance. The pattern consists of a step and then an exploding hop sequence. Distance skip. Last on our list is type. Type describes an activity related to a component of fitness. This one's a little bit tricky, so let me give you an example. Food groups. An apple is a type of fruit. An orange, a banana, a kiwi are all types of fruit. Components of fitness. Biking is a type of cardiorespiratory endurance. Swimming, jogging, running are all types of cardiorespiratory endurance. It's important to remember that with an activity, it can relate to more than one component of fitness. If I'm playing catch, that's flexibility and muscular strength. Type. 